In this video, I'm going to teach a false shuffle that allows you to keep the top stock and bottom stock of the deck in order. Uh, so, first let's assume we have some cards we want to uh, preserve the order of. So, maybe the four queens on the top and the four jacks on the bottom. So, first you just split the deck as you would normally for a riffle shuffle. That's fine. Now, you have to take note of which part of the deck contains the bottom cards. So, in my case, that's my left hand. All the jacks are on the bottom. And whenever you split the deck, you don't necessarily want the spectators to see what those cards are because, you know, maybe you're hiding the spectator's card and you don't want them to be like, oh, the card was right there. Once you have the cards uh, that you want on the bottom, all you have to do is drop off with this hand first instead of this hand and make sh wait until you've dropped enough cards that you're sufficiently convinced that all the jacks are down. At that point, you can continue riffling with the other hand, shuffling the cards. Now, you have to be careful so that your left hand finishes before your right hand so that you're positive that the top four cards or all the cards that you want to control in this hand land last. Then you can close up your riffle shuffle or perform a bridge or whatever. And hopefully you will have four jacks on the bottom and four queens on the top. So, suppose I put the jacks on the bottom and the queens on the top. Ah, it might just look like this. And then take the top four cards. We have the queens. Bottom four, the jacks. If you practice enough, it'll become smooth enough that you know people won't even know. It's an undetectable move if you do it right. 